Rolling? Yep. All right, bottom line on Spitzkop, epic climbing, hiking, camping, sunsets, sunrises, and amazing stargazing at night. It's like 14 bucks per person if you just camp in a regular tent. They have lodges, uh, but why not just camp? It's epic, it's worth your time. When you visit Namibia, there are certain places everyone visits. You start at Windhoek, you drive to Swakopmund, but in between these two cities is the oldest desert in the world. And if you take a slight detour, you'll see Spitzkop in the distance. When you arrive, you'll want to set up your camp pretty quick, so you've got time to explore and get ready for the awesome sunset. Doesn't look that bad, I can do it. Can't do it with no hands. Like what is the idea of you going up there without me in the camera? What's the plan? Climb everything. Everything. After you've explored, make an attempt to get some artistic shots with the sunset. Ah. Grill up some dinner and get ready to see the Milky Way rise up over the horizon. We've got our tent, we've got our very very sturdy tent. Uh, it's quite windy in the middle of the day when we set our tent up, that's why you see the boulders. Anyway, the, deep, the point I wanna to get to is we're the only people out here that are camping in a tent on the ground. Everyone else has the vehicles with the tents on top that just pop up, so you're like off the ground, away from visitors. And so we had a visitor last night come look at this. I was, um, I was gonna go throw away some trash last night, which number one, when you're walking away from your campsite at night to do anything, you have to remember you're in Africa. This is not like the Midwest where the worst thing you'll come across is the one in a million chance that you'll see a mountain lion. There's stuff out here. Anyway, when I'm coming back up, Maggie says, Jimmy, there's a giant raccoon directly to your right. And I stopped and I thought about it. And I said, I don't think they have raccoons in Africa, <laughs> but Underneath this rock, there is this, uh, what we've come to determine was some sort of cat-like creature. Um, as soon as we have internet and Wi-Fi, we'll check it out, but. And we don't know if that's the only visitor we had because it was very stealthy. So that might be why everyone else is camping on top of their vehicles, but we like to invite adventure to come visit us and we camp on the ground with the creatures. There are animal droppings everywhere around here. And I don't mean like tiny pellets, I mean like, fist size multiple droppings um i was just considering what's what's making that probably just a raccoon the sunrise at spitzkop is just as impressive as the sunset it's worth getting up early to see it overall this is one of the coolest camping experiences we've ever had and we definitely recommend it to anyone visiting namibia